My name is Elizabeth Crispalusi. I publish a blog called Tech for Luddites, providing tips and tricks for navigating our digital world. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can resize images right within WordPress. So one of the best things, of course, about uh, blogs and websites is putting lots of great photos on them. And digital cameras these days produce such great photos, partly because they're really large. But you don't really want really big images on your website. First of all, most resolutions aren't going to show them off very well. And they're really just taking up space on your server and they can also slow down the download time of your page, hurting your performance, which has a lot of consequences. Now, ideally, most people, you know, if you could, you would resize an image in a graphics program like Photoshop before you even tried to upload it into WordPress, but not everybody has that option. So fortunately, WordPress does have the ability to resize images, but there is a difference between resizing them for display and actually resizing them. So I'm going to show you the difference and show you the steps you need to take to try and make those file sizes smaller. So we'll go over to the dashboard and we'll go to add a new post and we will just go add media as normal as like you would add any any image and we will go to upload files. Select files and I have this beautiful photo that I took from an African safari, but it's quite large and you can see over here the size of it is 1499 by 1200. Now most people think, and not surprisingly, that if you go down to the attachment display settings and you pick say for example the large size 584 by 457, that that's resizing the image down. Well, it's not exactly the case. So I'm going to insert it into the post so you can see what I'm talking about. So if I save this draft, preview the post. So there, that is a good size for the image. It fits nicely. It's still big, but not too big, except if somebody clicks on this image, you will see it comes in at the full size of 1499 by 1200. So that's what we don't want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the post and I'm going to click on the image and you might be used to the fact that when you click on an image the this edit button comes up we don't want to use that you're going to get the wrong interface instead what you want to do is go back to add media click on the image of the of the bird and then you'll see over here on the right hand side it will say edit image this is the function that you need to actually make the image smaller so we want to click on scale image and you will see the document size, the original document size, 1499 by 1200. But we want to make that smaller. So let's say we want to make it, you know, 500 pixels wide. And the really great thing is if I make it 500 pixels wide, it automatically calculates how big the height should be. So you don't have to worry about that. Likewise, if you had a particular height you wanted, it would automatically calculate the correct width. So that's great. So you say scale. And there you go. You can see now that the file size is 500 by 400. Well, actually, we want to click Update first. But here's something you need to understand. This file, that original file that you put up, the large one, is still up on your server. There's nothing you can do about it. WordPress will not delete it when, unless you go in you know, through your web server. Um, so what it's done is it's taken this image and it's added this very lengthy code to the end of it to distinguish it. So what we're going to do is we're now going to go down, we're going to go back to our post and we're still at the insert media. If you click refresh here, see right now it still says the old size, but if I click refresh, it's now going to show it's the 500 by 400. So now I can insert that into the post and publish that or pre, uh, preview that, Sa save the draft and preview it, in fact. And now you'll see that when I click on this image, the smaller size comes up. If there's any way that you can resize the image before you upload it, so using something like Photoshop, uh, or taking a smaller picture to begin with, with your camera settings, if you know you're gonna put them on your blog, that's the ideal situation. But at least for the time being, uh, we now have the smaller image that we can work with. Well, there you go. Now you know how to resize images right within WordPress. And you should be able to see some improvements in your website or blog performance as a result. <laughs>